Welcome to my video. This is Miss T. In this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between gradient half tones and uniform half tones. Uh, and when we're talking about half tones, we're talking about dots and the way that those dots are arranged. And, and I'm going to show you uh, some examples of uh, uniform and gradient dots and tell, show you different scenarios in which you would use those dots. So if we're going to do a uniform half tone, uniform half tones, that means the dots will be the same size. When we're designing artwork, we can use a uniform half tone to do uh, special clip art effects, um, such as, you know, like a cartoon character. You may want it to have an over-exaggerated dot pattern or something like that. So an, an easy way to do uniform dots, uh, half tones, would be to, by just using your Pantone color palette. Okay, um, so we're going to use this is a Pantone Warm C. And if we go here and we look at the bottom here um, of our Pantone color, and I'm not sure that that's on the screen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here, my dropper here. We notice that this Pantone color is printed at 100%. This is a 100% Pantone color, which means that when this prints out, it's going to print out solid. Okay, now easy way to convert that into a uniform Pantone uh, is to go here. We're going to select, actually, select on this image just going to double click on uh, my Pantone color swatch at the bottom of the computer and here where it has tint I'm going to decrease this Pantone color okay now I'm at let's say I do this at 50 percent of tint on that Pantone color I'm gonna hit OK with the 50% tint on this Pantone color, let's click on the dropper, shows you well I'm actually at 49%. What happens is when you go in and you save your art and you go to print, your PostScript printer will, will recognize that this is not a 100% dot, a 100% uh, color. It's not a solid color. So it's at 49%, which means this is going to print in dots, in halftones. Now, your halftone is going to be uniform. And the way that we know that is when we click anywhere in this circle, our dot size will never change. Now, um, you just have to, in Corel, it does, there's no way for me to really show you uh, what the dot will look like. You can print it out uh, when you go to print and you kind of get it, get an idea of it that way. Uh, you could go in and convert this over into a bitmap and then uh, a bitmap halftone, but it still wouldn't render properly. I'm going to show you some ways to where you will be able to kind of have an idea. Of. We'll go in after I do the video. I'll go in and I'll print out some uh, images for you and give you an idea of a uniform dot. So the uniform dot, all the sizes would be the same. We could use that in clip art. That's normally used in clip art. All dots are going to be the same. Now let's go in. going to choose on the same color but this time we want a radiant dot. So in order for me to get to create a radiant dot, I'm going to use my transparency tool. I'm sorry, uh, gradient half tones. And if I was to do this number, this would just give me a solid uh, 
I'm sorry, one set number, which would be a uniform, uh, uniform halftone dots, which is the same thing that I have over here. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to hit undo. Let's go back to this solid. What I want to do is I'm going to select the transparency tool. However, I'm going to go to the top of my object and I'm going to drag down. This will give me a gradient dot. And you can go from side to side. You can do this different ways to obtain the effect that you're looking for. Now I'm going to hit on the eyedropper tool and you're going to see that the Pantone color at the very bottom, it's still warm C, warm red uh, C, but you've only got small percentages of ink. And that goes from the bottom all the way up. Now here we're at 2%, 16%, 30%, 50%, so on and so forth, till we get up to um, about 95%. Now, this tells me that my dot size is going from very, very small to larger dots, even up until to uh, almost a solid dot, almost a solid not a solid dot, a solid red being printed. Okay. Now, to use this in, to show you in, uh, how we use this in our artwork, I'm going to go over and I'm going to show you some different uh, samples of what you would be doing in artwork. But the gradient, gradients are used to do photographs, things like that. Uh, the uniform halftone dot you would use for doing clip art. And I will print this out afterwards and show you, uh, come back and do a video or attach it to the end of this video, what this will look like once printed out through your PostScript printer. Let's go in and show you here. In this image, we have a bunch of gradients we got gradients there we've got gradients there and I can just tell that by looking but I'm gonna put my dropper here and we can see we've got Pantone a uh, Pantone green and we've got different gradients of that Pantone green same thing as process yellow and we've got different uh, levels and percentages so this is an example of where you would now this is a CMYK here okay so we got a little mixture of a bunch of different things going on here um, this is a Pantone which is a 50% in this CMYK image we, we've got only 8% 2% things like that um, so we don't have a uniform half tone here this design once printed when it went was to go to our printer this would print out with different size half tones and those different size half tones are how we're going to get these shades and gradients when we go in here see this is a this is a solid color so this is an example of printing with shades and gradients. Um, show you another example. This is an example of a uniform halftone design. You cannot see in this design by just looking at it that it's going to print with halftones from the way that the design was created. However, when you hit your dropper tool and you look at this brown, the Pantone 471, we've got a Pantone 471 here also. So what's going to happen when we print out this design, this brown at the end is 100%. So that will be solid. 
the brown here will be a uniform pantone a uniform uh, half tone dot okay so this whole set of dots will be the same size um, also we may have some of that going here we've only got 60% black so this design will be printed out and it will and you'll see once it's printed out um, you'll see the dots and these dots will be the same size uh, because they are uniform that this will give your give the design um, some texture added to our design and make it not look flat now I'm going to show you when we go to this happens to be this one okay well no I'm gonna save that for another video when we go in and we print this out well no I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you this um, so that you can see the different colors now if I wanted this brown here on the inside of this to be solid I would change uh, the color to a brown that's similar to that and do a 100% um, Pantone color that's what I would do but I'm gonna show you this when you go in and print this we're gonna go to print and I'm just gonna show you this on the indiv independent uh, postscript file printer and let's go here I'm gonna print separations separations these are our separations okay so you'll see that the 471 is only one color in this, in your separations, okay? Um, it's only it's only one color. So this job it will actually print out as a four color job, even though it looks like it's more than four color job than a four color job. We have a blue black we've got a brown the white is the color of the shirt okay so if you were printing this on another color then you would have to add uh, a under base to that and we'll do an under base in another video and we've got black so we've got our print colors we've got uh, this Pantone brown same Pantone brown so that's one color got a black and it's the same if you go through and you look at the process black you'll see when it goes 80 percent 100 percent it's still it's still a process black okay so this is only going to print out there's our other color looks like we might have something in here yeah we do so we've got this Pantone color, that's a CMYK color. Uh, I can barely get it. 485, 1485. These are actually the same colors, but that's so that's going to print out as a half tone. And I'll go back in uh, at the end of the video, like I said, and show you how this is done. Um, again, this video covers uniform half tones versus gradient half tones. I prefer to work with more of a gradient half tone so that when I'm doing my design I can see I know where I'm going to have that half tone that half tone print at. Um, so I prefer to do gradient half tones. However there are times when you will do a uniform half tone. Again, this is Miss T with Latana.com. Thanks for watching.